that's a good Your Excellency, Dr. John Pombe Magufuli, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Analaba, Dr. Faustin Dugulile, Deputy Minister for Health, Community Development, Gender and Children, Professor Mohamed Janabi, Head of Yakaya Kikwete Heart Institute, Professor Sasson Leon, and Simon Fisher from the team, I welcome you all to State House. As I introduced you before, our flow language will be Swahili, and therefore I may now welcome you all to use the gadgets which will offer you the English interpretation through channel number one, as I'll be taking the program in Swahili. Mwashimu Raisi, mbele yako ni team ya wataalamu kutoka Israel na kutoka Marekani, wataalamu hawa wanashirikiana na taasisi yetu ya moyo ya Jakaya Kikwete iliyopo hapa Dar es Salaam kwa ajili ya kuendesha kampeni ya matibabu ya moyo mengi yatazungumzwa na profesa Janabi mkuu wa taasisi ya moyo ya Jakaya Kikwete na mheshimiwa naibu waziri katika maneno yake ya utangulizi lakini nimeona ni kujuze hivyo kwamba timu hii pamoja na kushirikiana na wataalamu wetu ni timu ambayo imefanya vizuri katika matibabu hasa ya watoto na mwaka jana walitunukiwa tuzo ya kimataifa nadhani profesa Janabi ataeleza vizuri atakapokuja eh, kuzungumza kutoa mada yake hapa leo mheshimiwa rais baada ya maneno hayo mafupi naomba sasa kwanza kabisa nimkaribishe naibu waziri wa afya maendeleo ya jamii jinsia na watoto dr Faustin Ndugulile aweze kutoa maneno ya ukaribisho na baadaye tutasikiliza mada ama presentation kutoka kwa Professor Janabi. Mheshimiwa Naibu Waziri karibu. Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli, balozi wa Israel nchini Tanzania, uh, viongozi wa taasisi ambazo ziko chini ya Wizara ya Afya katibu mkuu wizara mambo ya nje ushirikiano wa kimataifa na kikanda na wataalamu wote kutoka uh, Israel pamoja na JKCI habari za asubuhi Mheshimiwa Rais ushirikiano kati ya serikali ya Tanzania na Israel katika sekta ya afya hususan katika matibabu ya ugonjwa wa moyo ulianza muda mrefu kidogo takriban miaka 18 na ulianzia kule Zanzibar lakini na sisi kama uh, Tanzania bara tumekuwa tukishiriki katika kufanya uchunguzi na matibabu ya watoto katika magonjwa haya ya moyo na matatari hawa bingwa wa moyo kutoka nchini Israel baada ya kufanya vipimo na kuwagundua watoto wenye matatizo ya moyo walikuwa walikuwa wanapelekwa nchini Israel kwa ajili ya matibabu kwa, kwa gharama ya serikali yao Mheshimiwa Rais pamoja na kufanya uchunguzi na kubaini matatizo wenzetu hawa wa Israeli wamekuwa nafanya jambo moja jema sana badala ya kutupatia samaki wamekuwa wanatufunza na sisi jinsi gani ya kuweza kuvua kwa hiyo hivi tunapoongea Mheshimiwa Rais madaktari bingwa saba wa moyo wameshafanya mafunzo katika nchi ya Israeli pamoja na waaguzi sita na wameitimu mafunzo yao na kwa sasa tuna daktari mmoja ambaye naye anamalizia kupata ma mafunzo yake nchini Israel na tunaamini kwamba timu zetu hii uh, imeweza kwa kiasi kikubwa sana kufanya matibabu ya magonjwa ya moyo kwa watoto hapa hapa nchini badala ya kupeleka wagonjwa nje ya nchi Mheshimiwa Rais taasisi hii ya Save a Child's Heart ilianza ushirikiano rasmi na taasisi ya JKCI mwaka 2015 kwa kufanya kambi maalum za matibabu ya moyo ambapo madaktari bingwa wa moyo kutoka nchi hiyo walikuwa wanakuja hapa Tanzania kufanya uchunguzi na kushirikiana na wataalamu wetu wa hapa nchini hadi hivi sasa mheshimiwa rais tunapoongea watoto zaidi ya 60 wameshatibiwa nchini Israeli 
kutoka katika masuala mbalimbali yanohusu magonjwa ya moyo na kambi takriban nne zimefanyika hapa nchini na zaidi ya wagonjwa mia moja wameonwa hapa hapa nchini Mheshimiwa Rais timu hii sasa hivi imekuja na wataalamu kama 32 ambao ni pamoja na madaktari waaguzi na wataalamu wa mashine za moyo kutoka Israeli na wamekuwa wanaendesha kambi ambayo ilianza tarehe tano mwezi wa moja mwaka huu na ambayo tunatarajia kwamba itaisha tarehe kumi mwezi wa moja mwaka huu tunatarajia kwamba watoto hamsini moja watafanywa uchunguzi na watafanywa upasuaji bila kupungua moyo na wengine watafanywa upasuaji ambao utahitaji kupungua moyo mheshimiwa rais kwa utaratibu huu ambao wenzetu hawa kutoka Israel umewezesha kuwajengea uwezo wataalamu wetu wa nchini kwa sababu wanapokuja hapa wataalamu wetu nao wanakuwa na shiriki katika katika uchunguzi na kufanya matibabu kwa hiyo unatujengea uwezo badala sisi kupeleka nje ya nchi wataalamu hawa wa, wamekuwa wanapata ujuzi huu kwa wingi zaidi kwa sababu badala kupeleka mtu mmoja wataalamu wote hawa wanaweza kukija hapa timu nzima yetu ya JKCI yote napata utaalamu lakini pili tumeweza kutibu wagonjwa wengi zaidi katika hii kambi pekee yake tutaona wagonjwa hamsini moja na mheshimiwa rais gharama ya kumpeleka mgonjwa mmoja nje ya nchi ni takriban dola 19 lakini kwa kufanya utaratibu huu hapa nchini tuna mgonjwa mmoja anaweza akatibiwa kwa gharama ya dola 2000 mpaka dola 3 kwa hiyo tunafanya saving kubwa sana baada ya kusema mheshimiwa rais kwa heshima na taadhima naomba kuwasilisha asante sana asante sana mheshimiwa naibu waziri wa afya maendeleo ya jamii jinsia na watoto Mheshimiwa Rais kabla ya kumkaribisha Profesa Janabi naomba utambue uwepo wa Mheshimiwa Balozi wa Israel hapa nchini Mheshimiwa Noah Gal Gendla ambaye upo naye kuna kwa kulia Your Excellency you are most welcome Mheshimiwa Rais naomba sasa nimkaribishe mkuu wa taasisi ya moyo ya Jakaya Kikwete Profesa Mohamed Janabi ili aweze kutupitisha katika mada aliyotarisha kuhusiana na tukio letu leo Profesa Karibu anachokiwasilisha kitakuwa kikionekana kwenye screen ambazo ziko mbele yetu kwa hiyo kila mmoja awe huru kuangalia eh, screen zetu hapa Mheshimiwa ya Muungano wa Tanzania John Pombe Magufuli Mheshimiwa Balozi Noah Mheshimiwa Naibu Waziri Wageni wetu kutoka Israel wafanyakazi wenzangu wa JKCI mabibi na mabaya Mheshimiwa Rais naomba kwa kifupi tu nikupitishe mahusiano yetu na grupu la Sachi tatu kwa rusa yako naomba kwa dakika mbili tu nipitishe uh, historia fupi ya hospitali yetu alafu tutaingia kwenye Mheshimiwa hospitali yetu kama unapojua ina vitanda 28 ina vitanda vya upasuaji vinne vitanda vya ugonjwa maututi tisa na vya magonjwa watu wanaopata mstuko wa moyo hata tak nane Ujenzi wa jengo letu lile mheshimiwa ulikuwa ni ubia serikali ya Tanzania ilitoa bilioni kumi na ya China ilitoa bilioni sita nukta sita kwa mradi mzima ulikuwa bilioni sita nukta sita Tuna wafanya kazi mheshimiwa rais 280 pale eh, jenda haija balance sana mheshimiwa rais na kina mama 175 na kina baba 105 Kuna madaktari bingwa walobobea magonjwa ya moyo 12 na mabingwa nne madaktari wa kawaida 19 wauguzi asilimia 37 watendaji wengine wa afya na supporting group ambayo ni wahasibu na watu wengine 
Mheshimiwa Rais sisi tumehamia pale mwaka 2015 ndio taasisi ilipoanzishwa rasmi kwa ni mwaka wetu wa tatu. Sasa hivi ukitazama wagonjwa nje tulokuisha waona ni zaidi ya laki mbili na namba zimekuwa zikikuwa kadri siku zinavyo. Tazama kwa wagonjwa tulowalaza kwa kipindi chote hiki cha miaka mitatu tulokuwa pale ni zaidi ya wagonjwa elfu kumi na moja. Mheshimiwa Rais ningependa tu kuonesha namba za wagonjwa ambao wameshafanyiwa upasuaji wa moyo na nini. Kiu jumla ni karibu wagonjwa 799 na hii tunatoa wagonjwa 30 watakaofanyiwa wiki hii na wenzetu pamoja wa Israeli. Kwenye upande wa kutumia tundu dogo mheshimiwa rais tumeshafanya wagonjwa zaidi ya mbili na namba halisi ni mbili na sita na katika hao tumepoteza wagonjwa sita katika hichi kipindi cha miaka mitatu tulichokuwa nacho. Ukitizama kihistoria mheshimiwa upasuaji ulianza mwaka mbili na nane, kipindi hicho tukitumia uh, hospitali ya Moi ya mifupa sasa ukitizama wasta ni kutoka mbili na nane, mpaka mbili na kumi na nane, tulifanya wagonjwa tatu, amsina tatu. Mheshimiwa mara tu baada ya kuhamia kwenye lile jengo mwaka wa kwanza hiyo namba ilikwenda ilizidi karibu mara saba ya kwake na katika mwaka mbili na kumi na sita, tulifanya wagonjwa wote waliofanyiwa katika ile miaka saba kuanzia mbili na nane, mpaka mbili na kumi na nane. Kwa utaona umuhimu wa ile taasisi kuwepo pale. Na paka Mheshimiwa ningeomba ku share na wewe hivi ni vifo vinavyotokea katika nchi mbalimbali mbali, wanapofanyiwa upasuaji wa kifua na, na, na hii ni paka mwaka jana kwa hiyo ya mwaka huu bado hatujaingiza lakini utaona taasisi yako iko bado ilikuwa inafanya vizuri Mheshimiwa rais hii ni tumetoa wizarani hizi ndo namba za wagonjwa wa moyo waliokuwa wanapelekwa nje ya nchi kwa ajili ya matibabu. Sasa utaona kwamba kwanza namba ilikuwa ndogo kwa sababu ya ufinyu wa budget, kwa hiyo hawa tu ndo walikuwa wanapata nafasi wachache kwenda kutibiwa nje. Lakini utaona kadri miaka ilivyokuwa inakwenda, ukifikia mwaka na kumi na saba, wagonjwa tuliopeleka walikuwa ni wawili tu, wengine wote walifanywa nchini. Mheshimiwa niweke vizuri hii ili iweleweke. Ukitiza, ukijumlisha tundu kubwa na matundu madogo taasisi imeshafanya wagonjwa tano. Ukichukua kwa ile nani ya kwanza loyonesha mheshimiwa ingechukua nchi yetu miaka nne kuweza kumaliza hii namba. Kipindi hicho mheshimiwa kama alivyo 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 present eh, naibu, naibu waziri wa afya kila mgonjwa tulikuwa tunatumia milioni tisa. Hii ni kwa wastan tu. Kwa ukizidisha na wagonjwa tulowafanyia, mwishmi wanafikili hizo namba zinajieleza zenyewe. Hiyo kwenye nyekundu ndo garama tulotumia sisi, bilioni shina mbili, na wangekuenda nje, hiyo ndo garama upande wa kushoto. Hii ni kama hiyo slide nilo presenti kwanza, lakini katika picha, tunaona nchi yetu garama ilo punguza kwa upande wa magonjwa na moyo. Mheshimiwa pale tunafanya aina mbali mbali za nani kuweka betri kwenye moyo. Tunatumia mishipa ya damu huyu ni mgonjwa ambaye alipigwa risasi pale Shoppers Plaza na alikuja kwetu ni mgeni kutoka nchi za nje na alihudumiwa pale. Tulianza up, up, upandikizaji wa mishipa ya damu bypass surgery tumeshafanyiwa wagonjwa sita kwa mafanikio makubwa umri mdogo kabisa wa mtoto tuliwahi kumfanyia upasuaji pale ni wa miezi miwili hawa ni watoto wawili mapacha walitoka Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo na tunapokea wagonjwa wengine mbalimbali kutoka uh, Malawi, Zambia, Uganda na kipindi kile wanasema muombe jirani njaa Kenya madaktari walipo strike tulipata wagonjwa kutoka Kenya mheshimiwa rais Michango mheshimiwa inatoka kwa waisani mbalimbali na, na imani upande wa pili mambo ya kika sawa na wao watatusaidia hawa walikuwa ni timu ya simba walikuja kumsaidia huyu mtoto kwa mheshimiwa rais kutoka mwaka mbili na tano mpaka mbili na nane ambayo ni mwaka wetu wa tatu jumla ukichukua wagonjwa tuliowaona kliniki tuliowalaza tuliowafanyia upasuaji ni laki mbili 27737 
mheshimiwa sio kazi rahisi sana popote tunapopata nafasi watu wanapumzika kidogo ili kuweza taasisi endelee tuna wataalamu saba wanasoma nchi mbalimbali mbali, na wengine ndani ya nchi humu na ni wote kuanzia madaktari technologist watu wa health attendant na admins watawala mheshimiwa taasisi yetu ni katika moja ya taasisi 66 duniani katika nchi 22 ambazo sasa hivi tunafanya utafiti wa pamoja kwa ajili ya magonjwa ya moyo na sisi ni nchi ya pili tu pale kwa Afrika kama inavyoonesha kwenye ramani tumeanza mwaka jana tuna mahusiano na nchi nyingi na taasisi mbalimbali duniani mheshimiwa na leo hii tutaonesha mahusiano yetu na nchi ya Israel kwa kutumia grupu hilo la search Faida kubwa ya kushirikiana na wenzetu mheshimiwa. Tulivyoanza tizama upande wa kushoto. Sisi peke yetu tulifanya asilimia 30 ya upasuaji na tulipokuwa na wenzetu tulifanya asilimia sabini. lakini miaka miwili baadaye hiyo diagram imebadilika. Upasuaji mwingi unafanywa na timu ya ndani. Upande wa tundu dogo vile vile utaona karibu asilimia 80 sasa hivi ya upasuaji unafanywa na madaktari wetu wa ndani. Mheshimiwa kwa nini hivi vyote vinatokea? Duniani leo magonjwa ya moyo yanazidi kuongezeka, zaidi ya watu milioni 18 wanakufa kila mwaka kwa ajili ya magonjwa ya moyo na asilimia 31 inatokea kwenye nchi zetu kwa ina, ni asilimia 31 ya vifo vinatokana na magonjwa ya moyo. Na tatizo kubwa watu zaidi ya bilioni moja, yani kila mtu watano unakutana naye ana shinikizo la damu na ndo athari zake tunaziona hizo. Tanzania kwa nini inaongezeka ya magonjwa? Umri wa Tanzania unazidi kuongezeka kwa sababu ya uchumi. Mheshimiwa magari yamekuwa mengi, kwa hiyo watu mazoezi yamekuwa machache. Ulaji wetu mheshimiwa rais una ufahamu, vyakula vimekuwa vingi kidogo na uzito unazidi kuongezeka. Kwenye taasisi mheshimiwa tuna machapisho 25 sasa hivi, kila tunachofanya tunajaribu kukichapisha. Tunashukuru sana nafasi imekuwa ndogo pale na tunakushukuru sana kwa mwanzoni mwa mwaka huu kutupa jengo ambalo sasa hivi ukarabati wake unaendelea hii itakuwa jengo la watoto tutakuwa na vitanda 32 na vitanda 9 wa ugonjwa wa maututi ICU kutakuwa na maofisi ya madaktari wa watoto na vile vile kutakuwa na mapokezi Mheshimiwa Rais naomba nije sasa kilichotuleta leo hapa mahusiano na wenzetu kutoka nchi ya Israel ambao tumekuwa nayo hapa kama naibu waziri alipoelezea. Mheshimiwa mahusiano yetu yameanza mbali kabisa huko mwaka 99 na paka sasa hivi ukijumlisha watoto waliokwenda Israel kupata matibabu mbalimbali mbali wa visiwani na huku bara ni karibu 600. Staff wetu kama alivyoelezwa na mheshimiwa naibu waziri E, wamekuwa kipata mafunzo kule daktari wa kwanza kabisa wa magonjwa ya, ya watoto ya moyo amesoma e, ame, ame, ame Israel na tunashukuru sana e foundation inakuwa inapata mchango wake mkubwa kutoka kwenye Brad Foundation ya Australia paka sasa hivi nini tumefanya na hao wenzetu mwaka 2015 walivyokuja mara ya kwanza tulifanya nao operation 11 tulipoteza mtoto mmoja na namba ziliongezeka kadri siku zinapokwenda. Binafsi nimefika huko wanakokwenda watoto mwaka jana kuangalia wanapokaa. Hii na wiki hii ambayo wako hapa tunategemea kufanya watoto jumla ya 30, kumi kwa kupasua kifua kabisa na 20 kwa kutumia njia ya tundu dogo. Nini kilichotokea mheshimiwa katika hii miaka yetu ya kushirikiana na wenzetu? Ni transfer eh, ya utalam ambayo inatuwezesha sisi sasa hata wasipokuwepo kuendelea na upasuaji. Wiki hii ambayo imeanza tarehe 5 kama nilivyosema hapo awali tutafanya wagonjwa 30 na kati yao mheshimiwa rais wa 5 anatokea visiwa wa Zanzibar. Tumekuwa na mashirikiano makubwa tarehe 21 <coughs> mwezi wa 3 mwaka huu eh, waziri wa ulinzi kutoka nchi ya Israel alitembelea taasisi e, na kuona kinachoendelea pale tarehe 24 mwezi wa 4 alikuja waziri wa sheria uh, uh, Shakad na vile vile kutembelea taasisi na kuona tunavyofanya 
na kuona huko wataalamu wao wanakualeta nini wanachofanya hasa Mashirikiano mheshimiwa hii kikundi cha Save the Child's Heart mwaka huu katika umoja wa mataifa UN walipata zawadi ya population inaitwa kwa ajili ya nani zao wanazotoa katika nchi mbalimbali Hapa ni katika chumba chetu cha upasuaji wa tundu dogo wakiwa na Profesa Sason ambaye yuko hapa utamuona mbele yako. Ni kweli taasisi uh, imerudisha uh, smile kwa watoto wetu. Mheshimiwa Rais naomba nimalizie kwa changamoto chache. Sasa hivi katika lile jengo lotupa tu gharama yake kulikarabati kuweka hivyo vitu vyote ni karibu milioni mia tisa stina sita na tumeshaweza kuchangisha milioni mia nne ishirini kwa hiyo tuna mapungufu kidogo kwenye rangi nyekundu ya mheshimiwa rais na kama nikitizama ziara zako wanasema kwa roho ya huruma e, tunaomba utuchangie kidogo hapo e, tunaomba utusaidie kusimamia tunajengo jipya ambalo tuna karibuni tulikuwa nchini China ni ili itakuwa hususan kwa ajili ya watoto sehemu ya mloganzila hile tunaomba nafasi zaidi za masomo na himizo letu kubwa mheshimiwa tunaomba serikali ihimizi wananchi kujiunga na bima ya afya taifa kwa sababu asilimia msina moja ya wagonjwa tunaoona pale ni wagonjwa wa msamaa kwa hiyo ni mzigo mkubwa kwa hospitali na kwa upande wa serikali pia ni karibu hii ndio nisumzia jengo nia yetu kubwa kitivo uh, cha JKCI ikiwe kitivo cha kuzalisha hospitali zingine za moyo nchini katika sehemu mbalimbali kati kanda ziwa kaskazini na mashariki Mheshimiwa Rais naomba muendelee kutuombea na shukuru sana kwa kutusikiliza Asante sana Asante sana Profesa Mohamed Janabi mkuu wa taasisi ya moyo ya Jakaya Kikwete. Mheshimiwa Rais na tarajia kuwakaribisha wageni wawili kutoka kwenye timu ya wataalamu kutoka Israel na Marekani. Lakini pia naomba utambue e, uwepo wa madaktari wetu wa Tanzania waliopo kituo cha e, kituo chetu cha moyo cha taasisi yetu ya moyo ya Jakaya Kikwete. Naweza kuwataja wachache lakini mnaweza kusimama hapo Mheshimiwa Rais waone na muona Dr. Nyangasa, Dr. Kisengi, Dr. Sanga. Naomba na wengine wote msimame Mheshimiwa Rais waone. Sitaweza kuwataja wote. Asante sana. Asante sana. Nashukuru. Hawa ndio wanashirikiana, wanashirikiana pamoja na hawa wataalamu eh, kutoka Israel na Marekani kwenye zoezi hili ambalo linaendelea. Lakini pia hata wakiondoka hawa wamekuwa wakifanya kazi kubwa Mheshimiwa Rais hata mimi Mama yangu wanamtibu hawa hawa. Na washukuru sana sana. <laughs> Mheshimiwa Rais naomba sasa ni mkaribishe kiongozi wa kikundi ambaye ni mkurugenzi mtendaji wa hiyo NGO, hiyo taasisi ya Save Heart is Children, a, heart, a child heart, child is heart. S A C H. Executive Director from Save a child is heart. You are most welcome for some few remarks. Mr. Simon Fisher. Yes. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Tanzania, Honorable Joseph Pombe Magufuli, Ambassador of Israel to Tanzania, Noah Gendler, Professor Muhammad. Janabi, Director of the JKCI, fellow team members from the JKCI, Wolfson Medical Center, and Save a Child's Heart family worldwide, distinguished guests. The Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, recently stated in the Jerusalem Post Conference on Diplomacy that Save a Child's Heart represents the real Israel, Israel at its best. This statement has also been echoed by the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Theresa May, when speaking to the Conservative Friends of Israel in London. 
To date, Save a Child's Heart has saved the lives of more than 4,800 children from 57 countries, including more than 750 children from the Republic of Tanzania. Save a Child's Heart has also trained more than 120 practitioners from partner sites around the world, including China, Romania, Ethiopia, the Palestinian Authority, and the Republic of Tanzania, of course. This and more has earned the organization special consultative status with the United Nations, and most recently, the organization has been awarded the United Nations Population Award for year 2018 for its contribution towards humanity. <laughs> Save a Child's Heart as an Israeli organization is very proud to play a lead role in assisting Professor Janabi to turn the JKCI into a regional center of excellence in pediatric cardiac care together with our international partners from Open Heart International Australia, Mending Kids from the US, the Deutsche Heart Centrum Berlin, Germany, and most recently, Chain of, Harp, Chain of Hope UK. All our partners are like-minded organizations with one objective in mind, and that is to see JKCI become self-sufficient and capable in the long term to treat all Tanzanian children suffering from heart disease without the need for any outside support. <laughs> During recent visits to Tanzania by Israel's Minister of Defense, Avigdor Lieberman, as well as Israel's Minister of Justice, Ayala Chaked, both ministers visited the JKCI together with Tanzania's Minister of Health, Honorable Umi Mwalim, to witness firsthand the groundbreaking achievements of Tanzania's first pediatric cardiac team, all trained in Israel by Save a Child's Heart at the Wolfson Medical Center. His Excellency, we were also privileged to meet this year in Israel the Speaker of your Parliament while he was visiting Jerusalem as well as your Minister of Foreign Affairs as he officially reopened the Tanzanian Embassy to Israel. This is another great moment in the history of our two nations and we at Save a Child's Heart feel privileged to be part of the process to strengthen the ties between our two nations. I truly hope that next year His Excellency will visit Israel and open the embassy of the Republic of Tanzania in our capital, Jerusalem. We at Save a Child's Heart look forward to showing you in Israel firsthand Save a Child's Heart global and Tanzanian related activities. While in Israel, the Tanzanian Minister of Foreign Affairs visited Save a Child's Heart and the Wolfson Medical Center, where he met Dr. David Silvera. Dr. David Silvera? <laughs> currently training to be the second pediatric cardiac surgeon for Tanzania, due to join Dr. Godwin Godfrey, Dr. Godwin, <laughs> who also trained in Israel for five years. Dr. Silvera and Dr. Godwin are only two of a dozen physicians, nurses, technicians trained and training at the Wolfson Medical Center in Israel in pediatric cardiac surgery, pediatric cardiology, pediatric intensive care, pediatric cardiac anesthesia, and pediatric heart-lung machine perfusion. Save a Child's Heart not only offers opportunity to medical personnel, but also as a charity provides life-saving treatment for complex cases that cannot be treated in Tanzania to date. To date, more than 600 children have been treated in Israel by Israeli and Tanzanian practitioners working together. Only yesterday, a team of Tanzanian, Israeli, American, and German pediatric cardiologists at the JKCI under the leadership of Dr. Naiz Mijani Dr. Mijani, who also trained in Israel, identified an 11-day-old baby suffering from very complex heart disease that must be rectified within the next few weeks. 
We are working on passports with the JKCI administration and visas with the Israeli Foreign Office and plan to airlift the baby to Israel as soon as possible for life-saving treatment. The Tanzanian group of dedicated individuals saving children at the JKCI are the backbone of an up-and-coming National Center of Excellence for Tanzania and Sub-Sahara, saving the nation billions of Tanzanian shillings and serving as a true source of pride and inspiration for future generations of Tanzanian medical practitioners. A successful program in pediatric cardiac care, as you can see here in the room, involves a big multidisciplinary team of pediatric cardiac surgeons, pediatric cardiologists, anesthesiologists, pediatric intensive care specialists, nurses and technicians, and they must be backed by technical support, hospital management, Ministry of Health, and of course, the support of His Excellency. All of us at Save a Child's Heart see the tremendous potential at the JKCI with an excellent pediatric team on the ground. The team, with His Excellency's support, can double, can double the volume of pediatric cases treated in Tanzania by 2019. And as the JKCI invests more in pediatric cardiology, anesthesia, and pediatric intensive care, the investment will inevitably improve results, be able to perform more complex cases, and develop also an expertise in invasive pediatric cardiology, which still re remains to be developed at the JKCI cath lab, whereby treating many more children, and all this, of course, is excellently subject to available availability of financial resources for staff and disposables. We at Save a Child's Heart are committed to continue to support the JKCI by way of training in Israel in all fields of expertise so as to enable JKCI to become a leading national center of excellence to sending pediatric cardiac teams as needed to the JKCI and to assist with the treatment of complex cases in Israel as a means to reducing the caseload while the program develops here in Tanzania. On behalf of all of us at Save a Child's Heart, I would like to thank you for your generous hospitality and we look forward to reciprocating in Israel very soon. As we say um, in our language, our mother tongue in Hebrew, Leshana Haba'a Shalaim, next year in Jerusalem, Asante Sana. Thank you very much, Mr. Simon Fisher, for the good remarks. Asante sana. Mwishmu wa Raisi baada ya hotubaiyo fupi ya kutoka kwa kiongozi wa kikundi, wana Simon Fisher, naomba sasa ni mkaribishe Professor Sasson Leon, ye ni mkuu wa kitengo cha upasuaji kule upasuaji wa moyo kule nchini Israel. You are most welcome, Professor. I'm all, always uh, happy to have a speech after Simon because I have little to add. <laughs> Mr. President, we are very excited and honored to be here today. Uh, being here um, shows the real relationship that prosperous and growing between Israel and Tanzania in general and in pediatric cardiac surgery in particular. I want to take this opportunity to thank every and each member of Save a Child's Heart, uh, volunteer, Wolfson Medical Center, and volunteers from uh, many countries uh, in the world to help us uh, uh, make this program uh, go. Um, <clears throat> being here um, this week, we, we came with a very big uh, mission. And the big mission actually uh, shows the need and requirement um, that is needed from successful pediatric cardiac surgery program. Today in the world, everything is going for specialization. 
Every part of the body has its own special specialist. And in pediatric cardiac surgery, you need it in many disciplines. Without the disciplines, without the ex experts in the disciplines, the link would tear and it will not work. Um, we know, we heard Dr. Janabi presentation, and we know how much he put, how, many, how much effort he puts to make this program uh, work. Um, we know the effort that, and the support that he gave Dr. Godwin, the, the, lead, the leader of uh, Seven Child's Heart, the, the leader of pediatric cardiac uh, surgery here in uh, Tanzania, and to Dr. Naiz. And we know that it's, it is your desire to promote uh, and uh, develop um, this field and to make Tanzania uh, the best center actually in the region for pediatric cardiac surgery. We hope that the next missions that will come will see independent pediatric cardiac surgery, independent in its disciplines, in anesthesia, in cardiology, in, um, in ICU, uh, all the things that must be, and even separated from the adult. This is where the world is going on, and we thank you for the building that we have seen that uh, you are supporting. We know that without your support, uh, it will be very difficult to get uh, good results. We want to thank you for that. I want to invite here a dear doctor, uh, Dr. Akiva Tamir. <laughs> Dr. Akiva Tamir is co-founder, just a minute, Akiva. <laughs> just a minute. <laughs> Dr. Akiva Tamir is a co-founder of Seven Child's Heart and is the mythological uh, um, head of uh, pediatric cardiology. We see here uh, the, um, uh, his trainee, Dr. Alona Raucher, now the head of pediatric cardiology, Dr. <laughs> Sagi Asa, the head of the catheterization. <laughs> and now though uh, Dr. Tamir retired, he still volunteers at Save a Child's Heart with a desire to save as many children as possible. Dr. Tamir will, will give you a gift, an award of Seven Child's Heart, the highest prestigious award Seven Child's Heart gives to a very special people. Dr. Tamir, thank you. Asante sana. Asante sana, Professor. Kwa manu hai wazuri, ambo meazungumza. Mwishmo raisi, naomba sasa ni mkaribishe balozi wa Israel hapa nchini kwetu Tanzania mheshimiwa balozi Noah Gao Gendla ili naye azungumze machache kabla ya kuendelea na ratiba yetu your excellence ambassador i now welcome you to the podium for some few remarks your excellency distinguished guests from Israel, uh, you are welcome. I'm very proud to be here today 
to see our compatriots and people from other countries, from America, from Canada and elsewhere, coming to Tanzania to do good to other people. It's fantastic to see it, and I wish you best of success. You know, Mr. President, my opinion is that we have to catch up. For so many years, we didn't have diplomatic relations, and we feel that we should do much, much more. This activity of Save the Heart Child, Save the Child's Heart, is a fantastic manifestation of what Israel, uh, being a very small country, but uh, very advanced in some fields, uh, can do together with your people, with your doctors, with your facilities, and we should, uh, we should do much more of that. Uh, we wait for you to visit our country as soon as possible, because when you go there, you will realize, or maybe you will recommend us, what are top priorities of Tanzania that we can cooperate on together. Um, I wish the delegation, the people, the doctors, the nurses, the staff, big success here, and I'm proud of you. Thank you very much. Asante sana tunakushukuru sana mheshimiwa balozi Mheshimiwa rais kabla wewe hujazungumza chochote mbele ya wataalamu hawa kuna mtaalamu mmoja ningependa nimwalike do professor Janabi atoe kwanza maelezo mafupi afu mkaribishe ili naye tuweze kumsikia mawili matatu kutoka kwake professor Janabi kwa kifupi sana uh, umtambulishe mtaalamu huyo na aseme machache Pole sana, naona microphone haikupendi yo, professor. <laughs> Goja upewe nyingine, asante. <clears throat> Mwishmi wa raisi, kwa rusa yako, uh, wakati sisi tunafanya hii mission na wenzetu kutoka Israel, vile vile ngeomba na nashukuru kwa rusa yako, tuna uh, kundi lingine, ambalo linatoka wa hospitali ya Well Conil, New York na wamekuwa kifanya upasuaji wa vichwa na uti wa mgongo na wenzetu wa moi wameanza toka juzi e, na huyu Profesa Roger Hato ndo mkuu wa kitengo cha uh, neurosurgery pale kwenye hospitali moja hospitali kubwa kabisa pale Marekani e, ningeomba kwa rusa yako kama anaweza kusema machache mheshimiwa rais. Profesa Hato tumekuwa naye katika program kwa muda mrefu, amekuwa akisaidia hospitali ya Bugando katika kupasua vichwa na baada hapo vile vile amekuwa na hospitali ya Moi kwa kipindi kirefu toka Profesa Mseru anamfahamu vizuri. Wamekuwa naye pale pamoja na sasa hivi uh, wamekuja vile vile wao hawakuja wote lakini yeye amewakilisha wako na wataalamu wengine 12 vile vile kama wanachokifanya kwenye taasisi ya moyo wanatoa utaalamu ambapo wakiondoka e, wenzetu wa moyo na wenyewe wanaendelea ni vitu kama hivyo vinafanywa hospitali ya taifa na hospitali ya Benjamin Mkapa na hospitali zako zingine zote hii yote ni katika kupunguza kupeleka wagonjwa nje na kuleta utaalamu hapa nchini e, kwetu Tanzania Professor Hato, welcome please.
Good morning, uh, Your Excellency, uh, Deputy Minister, Ambassador. Uh, my name is Roger Hartle. I'm a neurosurgeon at uh, Wild Cornell, New York Presbyterian in, in New York City. Uh, I'm greatly honored to be here today. It's, it's, it's an incredible opportunity, and this is your moment. I don't want to take any, uh, any attention away from your fabulous work. Uh, but I think what I can uh, echo here is the uh, understanding uh, that, uh, that I realize today, the, the amount of work that you have done, the incredible work that you have done for uh, Tanzania, for uh, children, and for all uh, humans really in Tanzania, and uh, the pride that you have put into this work, and the relationship between Israel and Tanzania, it's something just watching uh, this here to me personally is an incredible experience. I'm a neurosurgeon. I don't know much about the heart, uh, I, so we, but we deal with children and with adults uh, who have uh, brain and spine injuries. I can tell you that the institute that I'm involved with here in Tanzania is only maybe 500 meters away from uh, the cardiac institute, but walking from one to the other is like uh, uh, crossing an ocean or walking into a different uh, century. Uh, uh, what uh, Professor Janabi has done with uh, your support and uh, with uh, the support from groups all around the world is, is amazing. And, and I, what I take away from this morning is really the, the hope and, and the conviction uh, that more of this work needs to be done. And, and I think the role uh, of uh, expats, uh, of uh, volunteering uh, work, uh, the, the, the type of work that you do, uh, the work that we do from Cornell and other groups is incredibly important, but at the, at the, at, at the end of the day, we want to make sure that you are able to take care of your, your own patients and uh, at a high quality. And what you've done in pediatric cardiology is amazing. I hope that uh, we'll get there in neurosurgery and uh, in neurosurgical care. So thank you very much for your attention, and thanks for having me. Thank you very much, Professor Roger. Mwishma Rais baada ya salamu hizo, na umba sasa kwa heshima na tathima, ni kukaribishe kwa ajili ya kuzungumza na watalamu hawa. Karibu sana, Mwishma Rais. Mwishma wa naibu waziri wa afya na maendereo ya jamii, Dr. Ndungulire, mwishima wa barozi wetu, anayuakilisha nchi ya Israel, na nimefulai sana kukuona huko hapa. Katibu mkuu wa wizara ya mambo ya nje na ushirikiano wa kimataifa, mwishima wa sana maprofesa, na madaktari, na manesi, na watumishi wote wataalamu kutoka Israel, kutoka Tanzania, kutoka Marekani ambao mko hapa. Good morning everybody. Hamjambo. Kwanza nimefurahi sana kukutana na ninyi hapa. Ile juzi nilikuwa nimeenda muhimbili nikakutana na ndugu yangu hapa pamoja na naibu barozi wa Israeli wakanieleza wamekuja kwa ajili ya mission hii na ndugu yetu yeye alijieleza vizuri kwamba yeye anawakilisha save the children heart na wamekuja 30 na kitu hivi nafikiri 32 something like that kwa ajili ya kuja kusevu maisha ya wa Tanzania hamsini hamsina moja ili nigusa sana kwenye moyo nikasema hawa wametoka Israel thousands kilometers away wamekuja kwa ajili ya maisha ya watoto ambao they are so innocent maskini wanafanya kazi ya Mungu. Ndio maana nikaguswa nikasema ni lazima nikutane na ninyi angalau kuonyesha appreciation yangu kwa kazi kubwa mnayoifanya. Asante sana.
huwa si kitu laisi na hasa kwa watu wenye shida kama watoto kupata mtu wa kuwahudumia mnafanya haya makubwa kwa ajili ya kuokoa maisha ya watu na mtu mwenye moyo safi mwenye moyo mzuri maisha yake yote huwa ni kuokoa maisha ya wengine na hiyo normally is a big sacrifice na ndio maana nasema kwa dhati na mheshimiwa barozi ninawashukuru sana madaktari hawa kutoka Israel na nimeandika barua ambayo nitakukabidhi umpelekee his excellency benjamin netanyahu waziri mkuu wa Israel kuonyesha appreciation yangu praise my na barua hii ya appreciation This is the letter addressed to His Excellency His Excellency Benjamin Netanyahu Prime Minister of Israel Jerusalem <laughs> So I'm sure he will make sure that this letter is received by His Excellency Benjamin Netanyahu to show my appreciation to you for the good job you did. <laughs> Shifting again in Swahili. Ninasema kwa dhati appreciation hii ni kubwa. Umefanya vizuri. Karibuni sana. Lakini nipende pia kushukuru wataalamu wa Tanzania, madaktari na wataalamu wote mnaoshughulikia masuala ya moyo ya Jakaya Kikwete Institute umejitahidi sana na, na hata kujenga mahusiano na wengine umejenga uhusiano na Israel umejenga uhusiano na nchi zingine mbalimbali mbali katika shughuli ya kuokoa maisha ya watu mnafanya kitu kizuri sana ninaomba msivunjike moyo kwa sababu ni mara yangu ya kwanza kukutana na ninyi nimekutana na ninyi kwa sababu ya waisraeli kwa hiyo hao waisraeli wameact as a catalyst na catalyst kazi yake ni kuspeed up the reaction but it does not take part in chemical changes kwa hiyo nawapongeza kwa ujumla wenu wote napenda mheshimiwa barozi ni kuhakikishie kwamba Tanzania itaendelea kushirikiana na Israel itaendelea kushirikiana na Marekani itaendelea kushirikiana na nchi zingine zote na ndio maana katika awamu hii niliamua kufungua ubarozi kwa makusudi wa Israel kwanza inarahisisha hata watanzania wanaokwenda kuhiji kwenye mji mtakatifu kule Israel watafika vizuri kule Bethlehem na maeneo mengine mengi yaliyotajwa kwenye Biblia na ndio maana sisi Tanzania na hili nataka ni kuhakikishie urafiki kati ya Tanzania na Israeli is there to stay na hili nataka ni kuhakikishie lakini pia nashukuru sana support ya nchi ya Israeli katika masuala mbalimbali ambayo tumekuwa tukishirikiana nayo Ninafahamu hivi karibuni kuna mahusiano makubwa kati ya madaktari wa Israel na hospitali ya Dodoma Benjamin Mkapa Hospital na mambo yanaenda vizuri ulikuja ukanieleza hapa na mambo yanaendelea vizuri ninachotaka tu kuwaomba madaktari na wataalamu kutoka Israel muichukue Tanzania kama nchi yenu ya pili Mnapokuja hapa msije tu kwa ajili ya shughuli za u, za udaktari. Siku nyingine mnaweza mkaja hata katika masuala ya kufly. Mnaenda Serengeti National Park, mnaweza mkaenda Ngorongoro na maeneo mengine ambayo ni very interesting na ni muhimu sana katika maisha ya binadamu ili na ninyi mioyo yenu 
iburudike ipone kwa kuangalia vitu ambavyo hamwezi mkaviona Israeli na kwa sababu nimeambiwa hapa mtakaa mpaka tarehe kumi, si ndio kama mtakaa mpaka tarehe kumi, ni waombe basi angalau mtenge siku hizi mbili hata siku tatu tuwapeleke Serengeti National Park au Ngorongoro mkakae hamtalipa chochote the offer will be given to the government pamoja na daktari kutoka Marekani professor kama mtakubali me i have no problem and i think that your excellency ambassador you will give them permission just to extend it two or three days so that they can visit another to refresh them to make them happy with their heart because they have been concentrating with their heart surgeries lakini nikiona program yenu haiwezekani kwa sasa that offer remains there mnaweza mkapanga ratiba yenu nyingine mkaja lakini kama mtakubali me i have no problem kwa sababu baada ya kufanya operation ya watu hamsini moja na najua nimewaibia hata muda wenu leo nafikiri si vibaya ku relax and the relaxation therapy is very important for the heart treatment Otherwise nataka kuhakikishia na kuwapongeza pia kwa training ya madaktari wetu na ma expert wetu ambao wamekuwa wakipata training kule Israeli. Ni kuombe mheshimiwa balozi kama itawezekana namba ya training iongezeke. Iende pia kwenye discipline nyingine nimemwona hapa profesa Maseru ambaye ni mkurugenzi wa hospitali ya Muhimbili lakini Muhimbili ina mambo mengi kuna watu wanaoshughulikia mifupa ina mambo inashughulikia vitu vingine na kadhalika sasa namba ya training ya watu watakao kuwa wanaenda Israeli kama itaongezeka zaidi hili litakuwa ni kitu muhimu sana katika kuimarisha pia mahusiano yetu. Hili ninaomba ni kuombe na ni kitu muhimu. Lakini pia Tanzania tuna tatizo moja kubwa la equipment. Katika bajeti ya mwaka huu inawezekana the deputy minister have already told you fedha ambazo zimekuwa rocketed zimeongezeka kutoka bilioni moja mpaka bilioni sabini kwa ajili ya kununulia madawa lakini madawa haya yote pamoja na equipment tunaagiza kutoka nje tungekuwa na baadhi ya equipment au madawa yakawa yanatengenezwa hapa hizi fedha zingeweza zikatumika vizuri kwanza tungekuwa na pharmaceutical industries hapa wenyewe madawa yangekuwa chipa tunge create employment na ingekuwa a continuous process lakini pia tunapotenga hizi fedha zote zaidi ya bilioni sabini plus kwa ajili ya kuagiza madawa ile effect na value for money inapungua. Kwa hiyo ni kuombe mheshimiwa barozi na madaktari hapa mwalike wawekezaji kutoka Israel ambao wanaweza wakajenga kiwanda hapa cha madawa. Na nataka kukuhakikishia mheshimiwa barozi the market is there. Wala hawatahangaika kutafuta market from from other sources the government will buy those medicines na hiyo ni guarantee ambayo ni 100% assured lakini bahati nzuri Tanzania ni member wa SADC countries ambapo ina zaidi ya population ya watu milioni 400 tenda ya kusupply madawa 
within the Saudi countries tumepewa Tanzania. Kwa hiyo badala ya kudili na watu milioni tano walioko Tanzania now is almost 400 million population. Kwa hiyo ni kuombe mheshimiwa barozi na wataalamu hawa kutoka Israeli. Tunawaamini wa Israeli. Quality ya madawa yao is 100% perfect. Tuwaombe. Wewe barozi pamoja na wengine hata Marekani moja mfanye investment hapa ya viwanda ya madawa viwanda vya equipment kwa sababu hata distilled water tunaagiza kutoka nje ambapo is the simplest process tuje muagize na muweke viwanda hapa kwa kuzingatia geographical position ya Tanzania nina uhakika issue ya market itakuwepo kwa sababu Tanzania pia ni member wa East Africa community ambapo unazungumzia juu ya moja stini. lakini mbali ya kuwa member wa East Africa community geographical position ya Tanzania ina save the land locked countries DRC Rwanda Burundi Uganda na kadhalika kwa hiyo pakiwa na investment kubwa hapa ya kujenga viwanda ambavyo vinaweza vika produce equipment hospital equipment pamoja na madawa nafikiri outcome yake itakuwa ni kubwa zaidi katika future life kwa hiyo hili ninaomba niendelee kuwaomba lakini pia kwa hii ndugu zangu mliokuja kwa ajili ya kushughulikia watoto hamsini moja mtakaporudi kule Israel msisahau Tanzania mjue kwamba tunahitaji misaada yenu kama kuna ndugu zetu wa Israeli ambao wanaweza kutoa donations za aina yoyote katika hospitali zetu mimi nafikiri itakuwa ni vizuri sana na profesa pamoja na madaktari wote mjue Tanzania inawahitaji la pili ni mshukuru sana profesa aliyetoka Marekani mtaalamu wa vichwa na mgongo ninategemea siku nyingine nitawaona ma expert utakao kuwa umewaongoza kuja Tanzania angalau 30 40 ili nao nije ni wasalimu hivi hivi badala ya kuja wewe peke yako siku zinazokuja <laughs> ninazungumza hivi kwa sababu ninathamini kazi kubwa sana ulioifanya kuna mgonjwa mmoja alitoka hapa tulimpeleka kwako kule Marekani ulimfanzia operation kwa zaidi ya masaa kumi na matatu na akasurvive leo anatembea sitaki kumtaja jina na siku hiyo nilikuwa napiga kila siku simu usiku nikimuulizia profesa aliyekuwa amemsindikiza ninaambiwa bado wako kwenye operation ninapiga baada ya masaa matatu bado wako kwenye operation napiga baada ya masaa matano bado wako kwenye operation mimi mwenyewe kwa akili za binadamu nilijua hapa it is not possible lakini leo huyo mtu ninamuona is possible and is even more than possible <laughs> kwa hiyo nakupongeza sana profesa na nashukuru sana kukuona kwa kuja ninachotaka tu kusema madaktari mnafanya kazi ya Mungu kwa ndugu zangu wa Tanzania mtambue kwamba tunathamini kazi zenu kubwa mnazozifanya kuna challenge nyingi kuna changamoto nyingi changamoto zote haziwezi zikaisha siku moja lakini muelewe serikali yangu pamoja na watanzania wote wanathamini sana kwa kazi kubwa mnazofanya sisi tutaendelea kuwaombea na yale yatakayowezekana kuyatatua tutaendelea kuyatatua kulingana na uwezo tulionao ndugu zangu mheshimiwa waziri fikisha shukrani zangu kwa madaktari wote wa nchi nzima tumejitahidi kuanza kufanya mabadiliko kidogo kidogo na ndio maana katika bajeti ya mwaka huu tumejenga vituo vya afya 
zaidi ya 190 zaidi ya 295 miambili na hospitali za wilaya 67 pamoja tumeanza kufanya ukarabati wa hospitali kubwa kubwa lengo ni kuhakikisha kwamba huduma ya afya angalau inatoka katika standard iliyopo iende kwenye standard iliyopo juu kwa hiyo ninawashukuru sana 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 Mungu awabariki sana madaktari wote lakini Mungu awabariki sana madaktari na wataalamu wa save the children heart waliokuja hapa na niwatakie mahusiano mazuri yenye mkono wa Mungu kati ya Tanzania pamoja na Israeli Israeli oe Tanzania oe madaktari oe Ninawashukuru sana. Nimekuja na tuzawadi kadogo ambako nilitaka niwape madaktari wageni angalau for memories. Na kama mtaniruhusu angalau niwakabidhi mimi mwenyewe kila mmoja atakaye kuja hapa kwa ajili ya kukumbuka mtakapokuwa kule mtakapokuwa kule Israeli au Marekani. Ninaomba mimi niwaletee mwenyewe kwa kwa heshima kubwa mliofanya. Asante Mheshimiwa Rais. Mheshimiwa Rais tunapendekeza ungesimama hapo halafu watakuwa wanakuja mmoja mmoja. You may be mentioning your names, okay? You will be mentioning. Uh, Dr. Leo Sasson. Next. Professor Roger. Yeah. Dr. Akiva Tamir. Dr. Alona Raucher Sternfeld. Dr. Sagi Asa, Nurse Nava Gershon, Dr. Adi Ravid, the mythological Chaya Museri, Head of Honors. Nurse Olga Gore, Dr. Brandy Hasdorf from the U.S., Nurse Revital, Katya. Anat Masto, Julia, Natalie, Olga. Yulia, Dr. Andre Gloch, Roy Morris, a very special person from the U.S. from International Children's Heart Foundation, who's a biomedic engineer, Egal Sofer, Tal, Svetlana, the head nurse of the cath lab. Jenny, Oanas.
Deborah Silver, a board member of Save a Child's Heart Israel. Neil Katz, Logistics. Oli Honigman, Chair of Save a Child's Heart UK. Oli Grushka, Supporter Save a Child's Heart UK. Ashley, very special person and dear to save a child's heart. Omer, volunteers save a child's heart. Gil, who produced some beautiful videos of the activities at JKCI. Tamar Shapira. Public Relations for Save a Child's Heart. Mwishimu wa Rais, tunazo za wadi pia kwa wapiga picha. Kwa wapiga picha na wasaidizi wa liyongozari na timu hii, unao utawakabithi za wadi. Photographer, photographers, you also have a gift. Yes, yes, of course himself. And... If, if there are some assistants who are here, you may also come. Assistants who came with the team, you may also come and accept the gift. Yes, go, go, my friend. Go and t take your gift. <laughs> go, go and, and take your gift. Go and take your gift. Say dear. Say dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our next program is a photo session. Naomba wageni wote sasa. Asante mwishimu wa raisi anataka kutuwa zawadi kwa marektari Wetu wa hapa Tanzania, Professor Janabi Asante sana Dr. Kisengi Asante Professor Mseru Asante sana Dr. Sanga Asante, Dr. Nice. Dr. Dr. Nyangasa, Asante sana. Mwishmua Raisi uwe ni mime wa mutangazaji wa Azam TV, Fatma Almasi Nyangasa. Asante sana, na shukuru sana sana. Kwa hiyo ni nasema ni na wa shukuru sana, lakini... Waziri ntamuachia jukumu lake kwa, kwa madaktari wengine Ili kusudi ya jue la kufanya Lakini ninachotaka kusema Mwishimua Barozi Nina kushukuru sana Kwanza nina kushukuru kwa kuja Nina jisikia raha Sifahamu nizungumuze maneno gani Lakini amini nina shukuru nina shukuru sana Kazi zenu ni nzuri. Nilitamani sana niwe doktor. Lakini bahati mbaya sikuwa doktor. Mimi nikachukua chemistry na mathematics. Lakini ninatambua ugumu wa kazi zenu na huduma mlionayo katika kuwa hudumia wa Tanzania. Muendelee kuwa hivyo. Ninawashukuru tena, ninawashukuru sana. Thank you very much. This is for Dr. Godwin Godfrey. Okay. We have Dr. Godwin Godfrey, please. Dr. Umesha Chaguliwa, Pa Godwin.
basi na washukuru asante sana Mungu awabariki sana asanteni sana kwa mioyo mizuri asante sana tunaweza tukapiga picha baadaye nitafurahi kupiga picha na ninyi wote madaktari wa Tanzania na madaktari wa Israel na Marekani Mungu awabariki sana asanteni sana asante sana kinachofuata sasa ni picha